You listen to another episode of <laughs> Loud About Nothing. It's me, your boy, the fucking hottest dude in the podcast game, Sebastian Canelli. And as always, as always, we got the cute boy here himself, Robbie Boy. Robbie, say hello to the people. What's going on? People. People. Yes, we're uh, getting there. What? So you're the hottest dude in the podcast game. Yeah, what do you want to say? I want to say it's it was uh, troubling to find out this weekend that people were surprised that we have a tour manager. <laughs> <laughs> You're the hottest yeah. dude in a podcast game. Yeah, it's troubling that people don't even realize we got a tour manager. <laughs> yeah. But we do. We got a manager. He's out. Well, we got a tour manager. Well, yeah, yeah. He fucking slips around. He helps us. Yeah, yeah. And he's not doing the stuff like booking gigs. No, no, He's no, not no, doing no. the stuff no, like... Tr- well, he helped us make sure we arrived on time. Of course, but... No, what he's he's not he's not doing the making sure that we got food there. You know what he's doing? What? Let me light that joint for you. I yeah. get off stage. <laughs> let me let me light that joint. Oh, what's going on? We I heard there's a good uh, there's a good bagel plot spot over here. We got you over yeah. here, okay. right? This yeah, is a good yeah. tour match. Scoping out the pizza spots. Scoping out, find, making sure that we know how yeah. to handle ourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I have a tour manager. I don't need tour for the comedy. <laughs> I need the managers to fucking help us move and shake. Yeah. And he does. We Definitely. go to dinner. We go to dinner. We go, we got to run. He goes, I got you, fellas. Yeah, right? we went to we went to dinner and expected that we would have our <laughs> food ordered, delivered, ate within about 21 minutes. I mean, we're kings. <laughs> we're kings. We, walk we had in. a show to go to, and we're just like, oh, wait, we're not going to be able to do this. A hundred percent. Yeah, so here's the thing. We just got back. We were... Uh, First time uh, Loud About Nothing was on the road. Yeah. Uh, first time we fucking hit it. Uh, we went to uh, the great state of uh, Vermont. Yeah, definitely. It was f- tremendous. We had a, bla- a great time. I had a really yeah. good time. Yeah, Burlington, Vermont. A cool, cool city. Yeah, it was really cool, right? We loved it. The comedy club couldn't have been more convenient and just kind. Wonderful and, people. Oh, p- phenomenal business. If you're ever in Burlington, Vermont Comedy Club, check it out. Yeah, go support. Support. They're fucking wonderful, funny people there. Yeah. So go always go support. We love that. Um, And you and I got to share a hotel room for the first time ever. We shared a hotel room for the first time Sleeping ever. Sleeping ass to ass. Sleeping at everyone he met that he would listen to him. He's telling them that we sleep ass to ass. And that would listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that would you could get four or five lines into. I know. I don't think people appreciated it. No, I mean, I don't think I don't think people want to hear that. No, I don't think. No, 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 <laughs> it's no. It's only funny to you. A hundred percent. Yeah. So we went away. We went away, and I bought this stupid ass fucking hat. Right. I spent I spent too much money on this fucking eighty five dollars. Don't you dare drop. Right. Okay. It, it was a stupid hat. Right. It's a Shrek hat. Shrek hat it says Supreme. It says Supreme. But I think has... the Supreme is stupider than the Shrek. Me too. The Supreme is more cringe than the Shrek. Yeah, definitely. Oh, if I could just get an authentic Shrek hat, yeah. I would be there. Yeah. But here's the thing. They're not making new Shrek hats, and that's what's fucking wrong with society nowadays. This is true. Okay? Yeah. So I get the Shrek hat, right? I'm like, ah, this is stupid. Whatever. I'm having fun. I'm like, we're, we're living La Vida Loca. You know, we just yeah. went in an art museum. We went in some art gallery looking around. I made small talk with the art guy there. Yeah. I'll tell you this. I could crush small talk about art, art stuff. I think anybody can. There's if when you're talking art, even with the professional, you could say anything and sound intelligent. Because it's about how the person receiving it feels. How you feel. That's if you just keep it feel. I feel statements. Yes. And it doesn't. It made they can't me feel. Really, they can't really d- d- deny you that. If you're looking at li- literally like a picture of a trash can, you go, oh, it makes me feel welcoming. Yeah. Welcomed. Yeah. It makes me feel at home. Yeah. Someone be interesting. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. In the art world, you can't say you're wrong. All you could say yeah. is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So we're fresh off my art combo, which I wanted to go on too long. I literally go to the guy, I'm like, hey, what's your favorite piece in the spot? You know? Right. <laughs> hey, tell me, what's your favorite piece? And he goes, that one. I go, oh, interesting. I'm connected with more of the one on the other side over yeah. there. <laughs> and you know what the best part was, bro? We walked in. It was like a little mini museum. The guy goes, the guy goes, just so you know, he goes, oh, he's told us here's, here's this to that. This is the artist that we're featuring. I go, great. And he goes, just so you know, sir, doesn't look at you. Look, it looks at me. Just so you know, sir, all the art's for sale. 
You think you have uh, I might buy a piece of art? Vibes? I guess so. I mean, my debit card has been declined from a Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. But, <laughs> but I walk into an art gallery. The guy goes, just so you know, so, sir, snapping fingers. Yeah. I got a brochure. Yeah. Just so you know, the art's for sale. Everything is on sale. Yeah, he did say that. I, I, I'm, I should be walking into the MoMA with that attitude. <laughs> you know what I mean? I should walk into the MoMA and go, can I get a tour? And can I get a price guide? You pre- <laughs> can I get a price guide on the MoMA? Can you buy shit from the MoMA? Oh, I'm sure. You think so? I'm sure. I mean, museums are just stores that are too fancy. Museums are just stores that are too fancy. Right? What is a museum? Interesting. It's just a fancy store. I guess so. Right? I guess, well, the, I guess some of the pieces get donated to the museum and then the museum owns it. But some of it is like what we saw is an artist trying to showcase with the eventual like goal of selling but here's the thing uh, at every museum someone owns the artwork right yeah well and there's uh, some of the museums price. own it yes sometimes the museum owns it sometimes, sometimes it's an, an individual artist. owns okay. it yeah, yeah. other museums Showcasing. like rent it out so like yeah. uh, sometimes it'll be like oh we're doing a dolly so we're getting a lot of uh stuff from spain you know yeah yeah um, yeah yeah but here's the thing there's a fucking price for it all yeah. You could buy it. You could go in. I, I'm looking to buy the whale at the Museum of Natural History you that hangs buy- above the thing. I would love to buy Imagine you came over and I go, the yeah. The iconic whale. The iconic. You know the whale. Of course. Everybody that's ever been knows the whale. Imagine you come over to my crib and I'm like, yeah, here's my kitchen. Oh, that's the living room. That's the whale from the yeah. Museum of Natural I History. I feel like when you have the, the school trip to the Museum of Natural History, that's where you eat. Long- like, that's the gathering spot. Yes. Is the whale. How many PB and J's have and been tuna devoured under that? <laughs> have lot. been under that. Hundreds of thousands. Yes. If not millions. That might be the most popular lunch place for people from the age of 10 to 12. Yeah, or just like that most people have in common. Yeah. From the tri state area. Is eating is underneath they, the whale. Ate that lunch at that spot. Have you ever seen a, a whale in real life? No. Have no. I eaten under one? You better fucking yeah. believe it. <laughs> You better believe I'd I be under a whale. The second thing that comes to mind, you think Museum of Natural History would be the dinosaurs. Whale number one, dinosaurs number whale two. Whale number one. And you yeah. know what's funny about that whale? What? I don't know a single fucking fact about no, whales. No, me neither. That whale teaches you nothing. I don't even know what whale it is. I guess it's a blue whale. The biggest whale is a blue whale. You tell me. I have no idea what that whale is. You ever hear how big a whale's dick is? Uh, I, not. Bigger than you, Rob. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Rob. 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 Yeah, when Listen we're comparing to me, me to penises, <laughs> I get the name Rob. Listen to me, Rob. Okay. Whales' penises are bigger than you. Okay. Whales come, each sperm. Like everything in my body. Everything in your body. Just out on the table, probably not even as much as the whale come. Whale come weighs more than you. You think so? Whale come one load, one load of whale more, come more, more than, than my entire being. We're back to the good stuff yeah. on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to the good stuff. We could have. We, we see. We just hit a crossroads there. We could have talked about uh, trips, <laughs> youth Art. trips to uh, the Museum trips. of Natural History, <laughs> uh, or whale come. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We took option B. Welcome to the game show where we discuss <laughs> who comes more than Robbie's weight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow, interesting. So, so anyways, yeah. we do that. You buy the Shrek hat. I buy the stupid Shrek hat. Shrek hat. Eighty-five dollars Shrek hat. You yeah. know, sometimes you gotta live, uh, live a little bit, and uh, yeah. you know, whatever it is, what it is. Also, like, like I got thousands on thousands on thousands. So, you know, of we, course, uh, you got just, a tour manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we we toss around. After money, uh, we we it. must, it's worth noting. You bought the Shrek hat after you asked Instagram when it dropped. Should I buy this? Instagram overwhelmingly. No. No, I think, uh, yeah, in the 80 percentage. 80 percent. Said no. Yeah. People it, actually DM me, say, don't you dare. Don't do this. I was, like, talking to a girl at the time, and she said, ew. She I said, got, ew. 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 The thing I hate most hearing from a girl is ew. Ew, yeah. Ew. Yeah. You feel gross. Have you ever asked a girl out, and she looked at you, and say, hey, would you, you, are you maybe want to No, go? I don't You've ask never asked out. a girl out. I don't know if I've done that. You've never asked. Have you ever asked a girl out in real life? Um. In like face to face, yeah. Like, hey, let's go out on a date. Yeah. Maybe in the high school, probably not. In the high school, probably not. Probably not. Probably through a letter or an aim. Maybe on aim. Yeah. Wow. Like a first date. Yeah, you've never done that. No, like go up to you. I would love to take you out sometime. Yeah. No. When are you gonna start living, Robin? I'm gonna start living. I'm gonna when are you gonna start living? I'm gonna start living. I'm gonna start okay. living. I'm gonna you start gotta start living. living. Hey, well, yeah. So, anyways. S- I bought this hat. Uh, Instagram says don't buy, so go fuck yourself. Okay. Um, 
I buy the hat. I'm having fun. We're walking around. You and I are giggling our asses. Yeah, off, yeah. Right? Nice little cute little town. And I go, ah, this hat's so stupid. We get back to the hotel. This, the person that was working the valet desk. Yeah. A 22-year-old piece of ass this guy was, okay? Yeah. Hot as shit. Timothy Chalamet would go, I'd fuck him. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. He sucks. To, when, <laughs> he was when they, uh, Vermont Timothy Chalamet. Oh, yes, definitely. He was Vermont's Timothy Chalamet. And I walk in, and he goes, whoa, dope, man, bro, and gives yeah. you a pound. Bro, I turn Sebastian to Robbie. Is beat red. So happy. I'm oh, blushing. $85 worth every penny. Worth every I could penny. I can throw it out tonight. <laughs> it was worth it. I, I start blushing. <laughs> I don't buy a hat like that for girls to think they're cool. Yeah. I buy a hat like that so a hot 22 year old guy can God. tell me I'm cool. That's all I want. <laughs> all I want is hot 22 year old men to say yeah. I'm cool. You were starstruck. I was. You didn't even know what to do. I didn't. You I, sat in the lobby for the 15 minutes, and I was like, you want to go upstairs? You want to go back out? And you're just like, no. No, I don't know. You know why? Because you only get so many beautiful moments in life. And you were really <laughs> taking that one in. I mean, here's the thing. That guy was fucking cool as shit. The, the... Yeah, yeah, definitely. You were crushing with the ballet squad. Oh. There was about a sixth rotation of young, probably college kids, good-looking 20 low 20 year olds yeah, that were working young, the valet these young probably go to, it's a college town yes it's probably work at the college yeah, yeah who yeah. knows this is a job they got i bet you it's not a terrible job because nah. you get a lot of tips they like to ski it smoke looks like weed. they probably had a, a little group of friends that all work there they say no to ass these guys definitely these guys say no to ass okay <laughs> yeah. and you all week are crushing with them oh because that's all all i cared about yeah all i care about my future is just Making 22-year-old hot boys laugh. Yeah. That's all I want to do. I would say. Tell me what you like, 22-year-old hot boys. Just I want... laughing. Oh, God. Oh, God. So if you know any 22-year-old hot boys, please recommend this podcast yes, to them. please. Please. <laughs> yeah. I truly, it's worth, it was worth every penny. It was worth every penny that happened. Yeah, that definitely. that one hot boy to tell me that he liked it. Yeah. That was cool. And give me a pound. <laughs> to give me a pound. Oh, God. You know, I have that. You know, I need that. Okay. You, you get other shit in life. You know, Robbie? What, me specifically? Yeah, you specifically. Okay. What do I have, right? You think about it. Sebastian. What does Sebastian have? What? Okay. He gets to go on stage. He gets to be funny. Maybe that's maybe that's when I get to feel good about myself. You did. You were very, very funny this uh, Shut up. Shut up. Very funny. Shut up. It you had that, great shows. It doesn't matter. You were very funny. That's when I feel good. It's finally when I'm like, oh, I'm I'm stumbled through life. I'm so awkward. We go to and we go out and about. I don't. You're know how not to that speak. awkward. Stop. I, I don't know how to speak to people. Okay. I mumbled my way through conversations. This is true. Right. People look at me and they go, "Who let the freak out?" Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't have many places where I feel like look. I feel proud of who I am. Yes. Right. Finally. Okay. My personality I'll is more th important than my looks. I'll pretend that this what? is the case. This is the case. Okay. I can't go to zoos no more. Why? You tell me why. You finish that joke for me, and we'll see if we're still friends. Um, I don't know. Your <laughs> sister's wedding is going to be at one. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, all right. You passed the test, yeah, my boy. No shit. You, pa <laughs> uh, you passed the test. So, so I think you're very well received out in the world for the most part. Well, I give you that maybe you're the most comfortable on stage and the most yourself. Sure. I'm a, uh, you're in very funny. In real life, I cower like Dobby from no, fucking this isn't Harry, Harry Potter. Okay. Okay. Anyways, finally, I'm on stage. It's the one moment I get to feel like alive, like who I really am. Okay. So I finally feel that. And Robbie and I, we do, we're doing the show. We're doing and, the show. And we're getting slips. Uh, and Robbie uh, reads. Shut the fuck up, bro. What are we? All right. Ro I, Robbie reads a slip. He, he goes. He, he kind of snickers at it. He kind of like <laughs> snickers at the slip to himself. All right, let me tell the story. Can I tell? Can I tell uh, the first part, like a small detail? What that the person handed it to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we put even asked, worse. We asked for this. We asked for the slips in a bucket, and I'm going to get the bucket. And somebody comes up and hands me a slip, uh, just to me. And I read it. I laugh. I show it to you. Um, Great. Wow. It makes your defense even worse. I, I'm trying says, to help you tell the story better. <laughs> the sl 
The slip says that he hands to me. Finally, I'm on stage. Right? Yeah. I'm fucking having moving a good, and grooving. Phenomenal show. You I'm do having it. a good time. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Definitely, definitely. Not thinking about my looks for a second. He hands me okay. a slip. The boy in the blue shirt is hot. I was wearing a blue shirt. Yeah, I think the audience <laughs> fucking knows, bro. I think the audience fucking could deduce that, okay? I thought... I think the audience realized I you thought were the blue boy. you were going to do this on stage and make fun of me. No, you know what I did on stage? I went, you're still beautiful, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I thought you would make fun of me on stage, no. and it would be it would be funny. And I then, ran backstage, or maybe you would do you would read it and be like, "Oh my fucking god, I can't!" And then maybe never. it would be used as inspiration to do improv. Um, because no. you saved it for the podcast. <laughs> I saved it for here where I could let my true feelings out. Okay, I was broken. I'm sorry. Imagine when no, when, imagine when Moses split the Red Sea. Okay. And finally, he's getting all his people out of Egypt, right? Okay, okay. And then his boy who gets ass comes up to him being like, yo, I just made out with a girl in the back. <laughs> Thanks for opening up the sea, bro. This is what happened. I just received a slip, and I, of course I'm going to read it. I couldn't even be Moses for the second. I thought you would think it's, I thought you would think it's funny and make fun of me. Funny? I yeah. went backstage after the show. Did you see I went to the bathroom for a long time after the show? So you call me the cute boy. You you hype me up. You create this persona, and then other people want to live in that persona. It's not it's not acceptable. It's I did not need you f flexing on me on stage. I know. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to flex on you. No, he goes, he goes, look at it. And I saved the slip. You saved it good. You I should saved keep the slip. It. I'm going to hang it on my wall. Okay. I'm gonna take a shirtless picture with that photo, that with that every day. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god! Well, there. Well, then that, the we, <laughs> I don't. We don't need to bring up the second part. What's the second part? You're telling this story now, because uh, not everybody saw the slip. So you're we're talking oh, to people. Jesus, we don't need we're to talking bring up people the in the, second you're, part. You're 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 doing this. This Jesus. song and dance in the song green room. And dance. Oh, it was so sick, Rob. He shows me the slip. Um, I didn't. I, I was silent the whole second half of the show because that's that's not true. What are you talking that's about? I didn't step out one time to make a joke. That's not true. You were you were. It was fun. But anyways, yeah, I was taught. Well, this is what this is also probably something that I guess would happen. People, this kid was like, yeah, I just talked to Sebastian. I told him how funny he was like, uh, whatever. I'm such a huge fan. The show was so good. Blah, 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 blah. He's like, but I needed to talk to you too. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, did anyone ever tell you you look like Henry Cavo? I hate you. <laughs> and I I'm like, you. Superman. I'm like, no, not. And then I remember that I like when I used to wear my glasses uh, and dress up to go to J.P. Morgan. I would people would say that that you look like Superman. That I looked like Henry Cable. You would wake up and people would say you look like Superman. Henry Cable, yeah, specifically. Do but you know, I don't think I do. Do at you know all. people have thrown full sodas at me? <laughs> I've walked down the street and people have thrown full sodas at my body. I mean, he. People said this man is garbage. I'm gonna add to it. Yeah. Uh, is this a lie? People have thrown bags of French fries in my face. <laughs> and what do you get when you leave the house? Uh, I mean, uh, what do you no, 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 no. what do you get when you leave the house? Not nah, this doesn't happen. No, oh, this is like I, six oh, years ago when would I would wear get? glasses. They, they would, the people would tell me I looked like Henry Cavo a few times. But he just said, "Have you ever gotten that before?" And I was like, oh, "Oh, I actually have a few times." And then I told you, you say that. that I have. No, I was like, no. Oh, actually, he's Superman, right? And they're like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I used to wear glasses, and people would would tell Jesus. me that. But I told you, while you were saying how sick you were, that somebody thought I was hot on stage. Sick. <laughs> uh, that was happening, and I did tell you it, and then you blew to a new level of furious. Furious. And you know what happened to me after the show? What? You had people come. Stop. People would love. Stop. Let's talk. All right, Stop. We're, we're going to get to it, but. Let me live my experience. Okay, okay. Let me live my experience. Okay. Some, a beautiful woman comes up to me. Okay. Oh, my God. You are this so is a made-up story. It's not a made-up story. Okay, all right. Let's beautiful go. woman comes Oh, my God. You are so funny. You are so funny. Hey, hey. Of course I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. I, I go, of course I was, right? Okay. And then she goes, yeah. My boyfriend was laughing so hard, but he's too shy to say hi. He's right over there in the corner. Oh, this, is a, this, this is, is a real story. This is a real story. story. <laughs> and that happened to me multiple times. Beautiful. Be 
beautiful women. Oh my God, you are so funny. Oh, thanks. Do you think that? No, no. My boyfriend over there thinks you're so funny. <laughs> and then I go, oh, they yeah. thought you were funny too. I guess the boyfriend. Uh, maybe dudes have a hard time uh, coming up to me, complimenting. I don't know. I compliment gentlemen all the time. I know we do, but this is not. This is not everybody. I was dancing down the street in Vermont. I stopped a car to dab up a dude. I know that was amazing. We were, we were, we were like in a tiny little part of this. Maybe that's the downtown area. But we yeah, were in sure, this, sure, and sure. we were just gallivanting around, dancing, mm-hmm. we singing, dancing that, playing music. We would play music we as we walked around own, the town. Yeah. We were living our own fantasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was beautiful. You had all right. So, what are you gonna make fun of me for? I'm not gonna make fun of you. I, I, I want to talk about a, a nice, another nice thing that happened to you. Oh, what's nice? Uh, I would say based on your appearance and your energy. Uh, what? We went to a bar, which I think we're going to talk about a, a little bit le- to a greater extent. Oh, okay. And we walk in. Uh, it was recommended to us that we go to a bar. So we're like, all right, whatever. Fuck it. We'll go to this we were bar. Gonna go, we were going to go to church, but then someone recommended no, a bar. We, somebody just, recommended a bar for us. to like. People were just throwing out recommendations. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah. We like tried to hit a few of the places recommended. Uh so we go, we walk in. It was like very much a college vibe energy, I would yes. say. And somebody comes up to you, and what do they say? They go, "The Don is here." <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian looked like he was picking up his envelope from the owner. <laughs> I had to say that. Yeah, like a nice, expensive coat on. He was looking good. I had like all black and on, fancy yeah, shoes, yeah. my nice coat. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm just walking in, hair back. Yeah, yeah. And, and some Me and the tour manager were, <laughs> were standing there. behind me. Yeah, yeah. We're the fucking the flying V walking in. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I got my goombas behind me. Yeah, and yeah. And some little college kid comes up. The Don is here. Yeah. And rubs my shoulders. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. But that's what happens to me. That's not a bad. That's not a bad thing as no, well. It's not a bad thing. That's a. Uh, that's somebody comes in and they could feel your presence. They did feel my presence. Yeah, everybody had to be on a little bit better behavior. Everyone was on better behavior <laughs> yeah. at that bar. Everyone was. And why we went to this bar, Robbie? Tell yeah. me why we went to the bar. Because someone said so. In the front of the bar, they were selling pizza. Somebody was like, "Oh, it's the New York style. It's the best New York style pizza, closest thing to New York that we have." They just kept saying, "Oh, you're gonna like it because New York style. It's the best pizza we have." Because you Maybe know, Robbie in the boy, state. Robbie boy, literally, we we leave the city, we go somewhere else, and he goes, "What's where's a good pizza in town?" No, the, no, not immediately, but pretty quickly. One a.m. after we're out, and it's like, "All you're right, asking. night's winding down," and somebody's telling us, "Oh, go here." They they volunteer the information you that it's New York pizza while you were sober. Someone, what did I say? Where's the good pizza in town? Where's the good bars? Where's the good pizza? I I don't think I said that before. Yes, you did, Robbie. All right, fine. He's saying where's good pizza? Remember, I got mad at you. Uh, yeah, vaguely. Okay, okay, okay. So go ahead, talk about this pizza. Uh, it was not good. It was not good. It was not good. Why do places? Yeah. Why do places, here's this. Okay. Why do places feel the need to say, compared to New York? I don't know, New York style? Yeah, why are they saying New York style? It was not, it was Chuck E. Cheese style, and it was worse than Chuck E. Cheese style. I mean. It was Fun Time America style. I want this. And it was not as good. I wish they sold French fries. At this place. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? French fries, I guess, is, you would think. I want every place to have their own thing. Pizza isn't going to fuck up. I want, no, I want every place, every city to have their own thing. That they sell late at night when people are drunk. Okay. I want that. New York's got pizza. Don't do pizza then. New York's got a lot of things that you could buy late no, at night drunk. That I know. is very good. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. But New York does pizza. Yes. A lot of people do drunk pizza. Okay. I would say predominantly that's the drunk food. Okay, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Every state should fucking form their own drunk food. Okay. Every state should have their own. Hey, you're fucked up. You know, we do palm frites over here, bro. Okay. Right? Yeah. You, you fucked up? You fucked up? Oh, yeah. Walk to Wisconsin. We got fried cheese, right? Yeah, I just yeah. want that. Something, yeah, yeah, Just yeah. your drunk food, and it should be everywhere. Yeah. It should be everywhere. Rather than doing, ah, oh, you're from Massachusetts. We have a Boston cream donut that's like Massachusetts. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what I need. No. I'd rather someone goes, you need to try this. That's a little bit more specific. Or you just do it well. Not trying to imitate New York. Do your own version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Detroit. 
Detroit has their own style. Yeah, yeah. 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 You go there, you go, ah, I'll take it. Yeah. It's just, yeah, people want to put New York in front of the things, and it's like there's no one. We need somebody to, to test it. That's a job. That's a job. I want You that want to job. put New York in front of your I want your style of anything. Somebody from, I go. from the five. Sebastian I Canelli, go. the Don himself. I'm the official New you, York style like, tester. Like the Guinness World Records guy yes. sends out. You got to call. You got to pay for the for you to come you on can. site. And you can get the official verified. Yes. You could put it in New York in front of your establishment. It should be like the blue check mark on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And 100%, yeah, yeah. we need someone to be doing the blue check mark for New York style things in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I think that would be very useful. Because we're throwing it around willy nilly. I know. Right? I would have no idea who the real Kim K is on, on Twitter okay. without that check mark. This is but true. But when I see that check mark, I go, this is who I follow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A hundred percent. I need. You need the check mark to distinguish. There's hundreds and hundreds of fan account, fake accounts. Yes. The check mark does help in those ways. It could be New York style fan, fan of New York style pizza. Okay. Right. So yeah. Yeah. Fan you could have New fan York pages. Style pizza, yeah, right? yeah. 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 It could be fan pages. But you for can't. Pizza. You can't get the verified without Sebastian no. coming, and verifying. The or whole they smell pizza different, right? Okay. Right. P i s s s s s a. Pizza, right? Okay, okay. And then you go, oh, I know what we're You can say get. pizza, I think. I think they uh, should be allowed to say pizza. Just put, You can't put New York in front of it. Of course. Okay. Okay, yeah, you can't put New York in front of it. Yeah. And you know what the thing is? What? When I go places. Yeah. People hear my voice. Yes. And they know where I'm from. And they want to recommend New York and things to you. And they want to recommend New York things to me in that area. And it's like, you're not going to do it as good. We're drunk. Uh, we're drunk. We're at the bar. We're getting ready to leave. Oh, this is funny. Yeah. We're at the bar getting ready to leave. And I go to the bartender. We're sitting there slamming. No, yeah. we weren't slamming. Uh, <laughs> I guess we were a little bit. You know how Robbie and I do. We sit there. We laugh, right? Yeah. We're yeah. sitting there. Just bars the two closing 2 a.m. We're sitting there. Bar's about to close. Robbie and I, we look at it, We go, we're kind of a little hungry. Yeah. So we go, I go to the bartender. I go, excuse me. I go, hey, how you doing? Excuse me. Is there any place that you could get like a bite to eat? Yeah, drunk and food. All drunk we ask food. is drunk food. Is yeah, there anywhere was... that's open that would sell us drunk food? And the, and the woman goes, yeah, of course. She goes, there's a bodega around the corner. I go, bodega? You got bodegas here? Yeah, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. She goes, yeah, there's a bodega around the corner. Yeah, we I didn't go, ask for a bodega. We did not. The, the bodega word was first introduced from them, their mouth. Yes, they said bodega. We just said drunk food. They heard my voice and they go, yeah. I'm going to say the word bodega for this fucking dude. Yeah, exactly. Right? And so I go, in my head, I go, okay, we're going to go to a deli. That's open late. We go, he goes, oh, it's one block that way, one block this way. By the mobile. By the mobile. We get to Bad the mobile. Sign. We get to the mobile. The <laughs> bodega is the gas station. Yeah. It's just you go inside and they sell Reese's. Yeah. It's a convenience store gas station. Are we allowed to call anything a bodega now? Anything that sells canned soda and chips? Yeah. Because that's really. And, that's and protein less. bars. A 7 Eleven has more variety. Yeah. It was less variety than a 7 Eleven. Less variety. There was no hot food. It was a one aisle situation. There was no hot food. There was zero hot food. Yeah. No beer. Yeah. You couldn't get anything. No. And this is their bodega. Oh, wait. We tried to get beer. And a woman came and up to us. And somebody walked up to us. They're like, no, that's off limits right now. Yes, a woman reprimanded us for yeah. even grabbing not, the, not somebody that worked there. Not someone Some, that worked an, there. Uh, uh, an attendee. A shoeless woman with a tiny dog. Yes. A yes. shoeless woman. A woman with no shoes was judging me for wanting to have another beer at yeah, 1.30 in the with morning. With a dog, yes. A woman who chose that day to go inside a gas station with no shoes on. <laughs> I don't remember no shoes. <laughs> Was she barefoot? Uh, barefoot in the uh, gas I don't station. Remember that. That's wild. With her dog. Her dog had no shoes. And the woman <laughs> had no shoes. And she looked at us and she said, I need to police this town. Yeah, I mean, I think she was probably just letting us know before we rolled up to the front with She beer. looked at me in my eyes and she said, yeah. just so you know, in this town, we don't sell alcohol after 12. Yeah. And flipped her hair and walked away. Yeah. And I go, oh. and then I saw her note, her, her shoes. I went, oh no. <laughs> and this is the bodega that we went to. Yeah, like quote unquote bodega. Here's my question Is this woman calling it a bodega to everyone, or is she like, I need to translate for these New York boys? I think, 
I don't know. I Is guess she probably to be cool? th- maybe yeah. I don't know. Do people around the country call it bodegas? I don't think so. Right? Yeah. I don't know. Just because one person puts their jewelry on to go to the bodega doesn't yeah. mean <laughs> that we can start calling fucking Exxon t- stations yeah, yeah. bodegas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We just can't. It was wild. It was wild. It was just so funny. We rolled up expecting, and then we're like, wait, I think this is it. This, this is has it. to be it. There's nothing else around here. Yeah. People, I mean, the people were really nice, and the town was great. Yeah. It yeah, was yeah, just yeah. funny that we're getting pushed, like, not even necessarily their best stuff. No. Uh, and by, this, just by random people. This is random strangers didn't yeah, know that yeah. we were in town to do comedy. No, we were no. just, like, asking strangers, oh, what should we're, we get over here? We were chit-chatting around. And because we're from New York, they go, we'll give them the most New York things. Yeah. The people at the comedy club did, wasn't recommending no bodega. No, 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 They no, said, no, oh, no. I know this wonderful vegan sandwich spot. I yeah. go, great, that's Vermont for me. You yeah, know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, and it was delicious. It was delicious. Oh, yeah. God. Right? But the people out in the world... They hear me and they say, I, I'm going to fucking make this guy feel like he's in New York yeah, in this yeah, little town. Yeah. <laughs> I'm worried to travel the world. I know. We're, yeah, we're not leaving to do that, I suppose. Uh huh. I, I go to, I literally, I'm worried. I go to London. I go, is it cold outside? And they go, it's brick, dead ass, bro. Yeah. I go, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. What are we talking We can about? speak uh, other dialects of English. Yeah. <laughs> Just be, yes. They sound like this. We can understand Vermont. <laughs> Just because I sound like this doesn't mean you have to talk like this. Yeah. You know how often I'll do this? Ready? Uh, say a word to me in my accent. This happens to me. Say all- a word to you in your accent. Yes. Uh, we'll go to the store. And the person will turn away and they'll go, store. <laughs> and then look back at me. They'll turn away, mock me to their friends. Yeah. Repeat the words I said. Yeah. And then look back at me. That's why. I mean, I've like, said I don't even hear. Beat. I don't hear as much of an accent as anymore. This is this is sick. Your tolerance is going up. My tolerance. Your is Your tolerance up. is through the roof. I think you, maybe when you're trying to do comedy, you turn it up a little bit. But I'm like, your base level is not not bad. not a crazy accent. You haven't seen anyone. Literally, I talk to them and they turn away to. Oh, to, people! People think you're funny all the time. But no, they, that's not funny. You think it's the dial, like the, just the, the way the that you say the words, your accent. Yes. People just giggle. They and, turn away. They say it themselves, and then they look back. Yeah, that's a very uncomfortable position it's, to put you in. And then I, I stopped even addressing it. Yeah. Because usually, if I say something, the person goes, "Oh no, no. yeah." Oh, it's fun. They just gaslight you. No, it's fun. Immediately. Yeah. And I, I like, you can't see or hear. I know. I go, you just. What are they practicing? I go, like, I know. What is the thing? Yeah. I go, you just said my, you just said my, uh, you just mimicked me to your friends. And they go, no, no, I didn't. Yeah. And uh, no, I, you, I, I, I heard you. Yeah. And they go, Hud. I go, what are you doing? You're doing it now. Yeah, You're yeah, doing yeah. it now. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. no, I'm not doing it now. I go, can you, can you stop? Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is the conversations I have with people. Yeah, that's very – that's not fun. The Vermont the Vermont pizza was bad, but I also don't think they're – I think they were doing that to us. I don't think that is something they pride themselves on, generally no. speaking. I think it's just like – I don't think they're like, we're a pizza uh, hub by any stretch of the imagination. I think they were just to us, like, oh, they sound like that. They yeah. were probably like this pizza. They probably pizza. want pizza. Uh, and people there, that's the best pizza they have, and they just kind of are like, yeah, it's pretty good pizza, but they don't really know. There's no signs. Um, There's no billboards for the no, pizza. No, but we did go to a, a place that proclaims themselves the number one pizza spot in the country, which is wild to me. Now? Which is wild to say over New York City. Yes. The number one Not Naples. Pizza. Not Naples. No, not even. Not Rome. No, not anywhere in Italy. This was not somewhere on our drive home from Vermont. This is on New our drive York. home. This was on our drive home. A place that I see in publication. This is why it's hard to, to believe the media in a lot of ways. When you see articles come out that New Haven, Connecticut is the pizza capital of the United States. I'm disgusted. It's wild. I am disgusted. Yeah. This was the last time I'm giving it a chance. I mean, it was it was fine. Shut the fuck up, okay? It wasn't bad. The pizza I, we had wasn't bad. I was furious. Yeah. I was furious, okay? First off, first off, what's with this a pizza shit? Oh, yeah. What's with a pizza? Yeah. 
I guess you're the be biggest a pizza capital in the world. Yeah, okay? they they call it A P I Z Z A. Yeah, that's what the the dish that we all pizza. know and love of as pizza. It's it almost feels like yeah, you're mocking a stereotype. Like, yeah, yeah, a pizza. I'm yeah. making the pizza. A pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm out here. I'm making the pizza. A yeah, pizza. that's yeah. what it's like. Yeah. So then you have all these people walking around Connecticut, right? Yeah, yes. Going, hey, hello, oh, 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 Bartholomew, would you like to go get? A pizza, right? Yes, yes, Go yes. fuck yourself, okay? Yeah, yeah. We go there. I'm trying to go in with an open heart. Of course. Open heart. You've already been wronged. In case you're new to the show, you've been wronged by New Haven Pizza before. You went to Frank Pepe, which is Dogged. apparently uh, the Don of the New Don Haven of pizza. pizza. Don of New Haven. Some people say the best pizza baker in the country. Disgusting. You didn't like it. I it was burnt. It was burnt. Burnt to a crisp. Burnt, burnt to dry. a crisp. Dry. I prefer Triscuits over their fucking pizza. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, it was Triscuits, mozzarella, and sauce. I swear to God, I seen a horse go to bite it and says, no, it's too dry. I like hay. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, this pizza's fucking garbage, bro. Okay. Matza has more fucking flavor than this New Haven pizza. Okay. Right? It's more, uh, less, it's less dry. Less dry. Okay. Matzah's less dry than New Haven pizza. Okay. Draw nothing on the matzah. <laughs> okay. I'd rather I'm eat matzah with butter than New Haven pizza. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather you burn not matzah. Okay. Okay? Okay. So we go in. We I'm go going in. in with the We're open heart. We're going to give it a second I, I chance. I pull into the parking lot. I roll down my window. Someone's leaving. They, I go, roll it down your window. I go. <laughs> I go the, you asked for somebody to roll down your window. I go, yeah. roll down your window. And, and, and she goes, yeah. I go, was it good? And she goes, yeah. All right. She says delicious. She goes delicious, and then what do I do? I go, all right. We'll uh, see about that. No, I don't say we'll see about Not that. Not to her, I think in the car. I think I just kind of mumbled and then drove away. Yeah, <laughs> I was already, I was already broken. You didn't say anything to her. No, I didn't. So we go inside. To start, how could you call yourself New Haven? I'm coming for you, you little fucking punks. Okay, how could you call yourself? The pizza capital of the world. The third pizza on your fucking menu is American cheese pizza. <laughs> American cheese pizza. I've <laughs> smoked all the weed, and I'll, I would never do that. Yeah. That never even popped in my mind. And I've smoked all the weed in New Haven. Yes. I go, the waiter comes up. I go, ah. I go, hey, I'm giving them the benefit of doubt, New Haven. You know, I'm, I'm yeah, in your yeah. land. Yes. I go, hey, I think there's a typo on your menu. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I think there's a typo on your menu. He goes, yeah. oh, where? I go, it says American cheese style pizza. And he goes, I know. He goes, I go, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, it's sauce. We got some gravy and then we do the cheese. We got American cheese. No, no. It's a regular. Sli it was a regular pie of pizza and they just put slices of American cheese. Instead of mozzarella. Oh, no, I think the mozzarella is also there. No, they don't. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. There's no mozzarella. Oh, wow. It was just slices of American cheese on top of the sauce. On top of sauce. Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't even take that down. And I go to the guy, and, and I go, uh, and he goes, yeah. He goes, yeah, it's 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 the sauce, American cheese, and then the, the pizza dough. Yeah. And he goes, you know what? And he kind of leans over. He goes, you know what? It's not too bad. Yeah, people like it, he said. What was my response? I I think I'm going to need a new fucking waiter. Oh, that's what he said. <laughs> I literally go, I think I'm going to need a new waiter. I literally said that to this guy's face. Yeah, you did say that. Because I couldn't fucking deal with that. Yeah, yeah. I can't deal with my waiter telling me American cheese pizza is good. Yeah. Dave Portnoy, who, who, who why are you in the pocket of fucking... Of, of big pizza New up Haven. there. Yeah. yeah. Why are you in the pocket of New Haven Pizza, Dave Portnoy? Yeah, I think it's what the are Dave they doing Portnoy, the Yale. A lot of them go on to be like a little bit like media elites. This is and some fucking skull and bone shit happening this is here. Very interesting. People it's a little too close to the skull and bones geographically yes. to not be raising an eyebrow. Also, there's three good pizza spots in the entire place, and they all studied under Frank Pepe. This is some Illuminati shit. Yeah. Bro, I swear to God, there's no way that all these people are saying New Haven pizza is the best. Yeah. Without there being some fucking government Unless they're influence. not going to good places in New York or they don't understand that there's 50 places in New York City that are better than these New Haven spots. I like the King and I. Oh, you saw it on Broadway? No, my son's middle school. In what are we talking <laughs> yeah. here? What are we exactly. talking here? Exactly. It's wild. But wait, the, the thing that I think I could be wrong... 
what? that annoyed you the most about <gasps> this menu yes. was not even was not even the American cheese. I, I think you this. could see past the American cheese. American cheese, you know what? It was that was whatever. I guess you, they also said that was like from the fifties, and it had been there. It wasn't even like a new people trend. Order it. Yeah, they said people order it. People order it, which it is, is strange. It's maybe all right. Them taking a new approach on pizza a little bit. Who knows? The thing that which is it, it is annoying because they they have the a pizza. It's like are right, you gonna be Italian or you're gonna be like new wave? Yeah. Like, don't, you don't get to, either you're going to lean in on this fucking Italian thing or you're going to do American cheese. Yeah. Because you can't have both. Yeah, American cheese. See, I mean, I, I might as well go to fucking Missouri for yeah. pizza at this point. Yeah. Sorry, Missouri. Hate to lump you in with fucking New Haven. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Missouri, Sorry, Missouri pizza. I bet you got better pizza in Missouri than New Haven, okay? I don't know. Oh, I'll, I'll The New Haven pizza wasn't bad. Shut I up. just am not ready to call it the pizza capital of the world. So here's the deal. I go, oh, I look at the menu. I go, oh, before we'll get... I even walk in, you're I'm, disgusted. I'm fuming. The, before you even look, look look at a piece of pizza or a pie, you're fuming. fuming. The tour manager goes, I think we're gonna have to take his blood pressure. Yeah, <laughs> the tour manager <laughs> was ready, was ready to I was... take his blood pressure on the spot. Because I was red, angry. Yeah. I flip over the fucking menu. Yeah. On the back. Is a twelve paragraph history <laughs> of how this pizza was made, yeah, how this establishment was created. It started off. Wait, bring it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. On my phone, literally, I took a picture of it, and I will be deleting it after we talk about this. But Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Let me count that: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paragraphs. <laughs> On the back of a menu. Yeah. It starts. Modern pizzas. We're fucking saying names, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying the name. I'm saying the name. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Modern pizzas. Story, bega um, story began this way with an Italian-American who began a dynasty of pizzerias in greater New Haven. We're opening it like it's a fucking Disney tale. I know. Like it's a Disney story <laughs> in a land where there was no pizzas to be found. Yeah. <laughs> right? So what are Which, we doing? Maybe even if there's a paragraph, cute little intro. But this is this is a, a graphic novel. This is a start. Yeah, this is a start. Graphic novel? This is what are we start. talking about here? This, this is, is infinite start. jest. This is the start. All right. Second paragraph. I go, great. Okay, we got the opening. Yeah. Uh, second sentence. Excuse me, second paragraph, I wish. Well, these paragraphs are tw 10, 12 sentences each. <laughs> this guy was an overachiever when he wrote the back of this. I go, okay, we'll find out about the pizza. On March 4th, 1911. We're going back to 1911. 1911. Antonio Tony Tolley, stupid name, was born in Plainville, Connecticut to Italian immigrants not even from the <laughs> outskirts of Naples, Italy. We're starting at the a baby. A first generation immigrant, not yes. even coming from, okay. He's not even from Italy. And we go, I like this pizza so much. Tell me about the, the kid baby. Born, born in Connecticut <laughs> yeah. that started it. Don't tell me about the man that made it. Tell me about the man that made it when he was a baby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I go taste good food, I go, oh. Well, I would imagine this is the the creator of the the kid, the person being born in 1911. Yes, of course. The owner and creator. Well, that's what I do. I go to restaurants. I go, and I go, oh, the food was delicious. I go, who's the owner? And I go, blah, blah. I go, oh, interesting. When was he born and where? Yeah, okay. That make me enjoy the food a little more. If I knew yeah. when and where yeah, this boy. Yeah. Where's his parents immigrants, right? These yeah. are always my big questions, right? We go on. <clears throat> At two years old, wow, we're making small jumps. <laughs> <laughs> totally was taken and raised in Italy until 1930. Then uh, returning to America. This is like, hey, I, re I studied with the clown. Okay. You know, okay, I studied okay, with the true okay. artists in France, okay, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah. Upon arrival, Tolly uh, was with his uncle, yada, yada, who ran an Italian pastry shop. In, so in 18, he came back, and he was like, I'm going to work with my Italian uh, in the okay. pastry shop in New Haven. Blah, blah, blah. We hear all about his childhood, right? We know more about this guy than Jesus during those <laughs> gap years, you know? Okay. Bro? <laughs> it's wild. Let me, jump to the, let me jump to the third paragraph. Yeah. Because this is when it starts getting interesting to me. Because yeah. now he's, I go, oh, we're learning about this man. We know a little bit about him. Yeah. But what's happening in the world? Yeah. 
Third paragraph. Third paragraph. With the onset of World War II, <laughs> <Yeah>. global tension. <laughs> Let's this go is, This is not a fancy place. It looks like every pizzeria in any it's suburb. It's a paper menu. A paper menu. It's a paper menu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Pizzeria is mean, better than all boosts. the extra mouths to feed. <laughs> I mean, we're talking World War II on the back of this thing. Tell me, how did World War II affect <laughs> your pizza business? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. They go on and on and on. It was wild. They just... You were not having a good time. I was The pizza furious. was good. I would go again. I am not at any point going to call this place the pizza capital of the world. Not even close. I wish I could read it to you guys, but yeah. like literally I would call Chicago. I would, I would, there's other many other cities that I like their pizza more than this new Haven stuff. And I read this fucking book about this man. I yeah. told you, I go, I know less about Benjamin Franklin than this loser. I'm about to eat. His yeah, pizza. You, yeah. You did say that. If I went to Benjamin Franklin's home, I would know more, less about him than yeah. I knew about this fucking Tony Tony guy. Right. Yeah. Study yeah. under Frank Pepe. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got words with this Pepe family. Okay. I think, yeah. Yeah. Right. Definitely. I mean, all I have to say, Illuminati, Frank Pepe, Pepe the Frog. Well, I, do think, <laughs> I mean, some, you put two and two there's together. There's some definitely some Illuminati shit going on, or some something behind the scenes. That's there's no something. way that all of these. I mean, it, it just makes the media lose credibility. You were too close to Skull and Bones. To, yeah, to call uh, that the best pizza in the world 100%. and not be connected to Skull and Bones. A hundred percent. Frank Pepe is the Illuminati. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. We just need to go on record. Yeah, Frank right? Pepe of New Haven, Connecticut, yeah. and his descendants, and anyone who's ever studied under him are directly, I guess, related to the Illuminati. Everyone says what in codes that all the all the fucking uh. All the QAnon people, they say pizza. When they say pizza in, in things, that means they talk about child predator, uh, child uh, uh, like stealing children and stuff. Have you heard this? I've heard of Pizzagate. Right? Yeah. They're not talking about uh, stealing children. They're talking about shitty fucking pizza from New Haven. They're actually talking about shitty pizza. I don't know if I'm ready to start agreeing with QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> no, QAnon is misinterpreting the emails. Oh. I'm saying I You're, you am interpreting them, them correct, right. oh, correctly. correctly. Okay, okay. QAnon's wrong. QAnon's wrong. Okay. I'm right. Okay. They're talking about real pizza and how they have to bring big pizza. They, they have to push New York big pizza down so New Haven could have its moment. Yeah, I would say probably so. I learned so much about this guy. I go, okay. The pizza can't be that bad. It wasn't that bad. Shut up. It comes out. It was burned. The crusts. The crusts. Could have been fucking Batman. It was the Dark Knight, that shit. Okay? Yeah, yeah. The crusts. I touched the crust and it crumbled to ashes. Okay. The pizza was good though. Uh, 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 uh. Look, I'm not gonna call it the uh, the, 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 the pizza capital uh, of the world. Uh, uh, the crust. <laughs> yeah. Was it edible? Uh I didn't have much of the crust. Was the crust edible? I would didn't no. Some of the crust was not edible. If uh, we're gonna talk shit about it. So a portion of the pizza was not Edible. Yeah. I don't know about you, but my food, I like to eat it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you. My pizza, I like to swallow it and not go, ow, it tastes like I'm eating a fire. Yeah. Ow, this sucks. Did someone put my grandmother on this because it tastes like ash? Okay. I would say the the thing I would that I was most confused by is people always say get the clam, the clam, the clam, the clam. And what did you say? I don't understand how it could be so soggy and so dry at the same time. I've never met something that was wet and dry. I felt like I was <laughs> in a riddle when I was eating this clam slice. Yeah. The bottom was soaking Reg wet. I, I don't want to shit. It was good pizza. Like, besides the clam. I thought the other shit you we had what? was good. So besides the clam, the American cheese slice. The, we the, didn't have the American cheese. No, yeah, but we. Just the fact that it exists. Oh, so you're going to say that. You, your team American cheese pizza? No, no. Okay, so then let's well, let's throw it under the bus. Then. Okay, we can throw it under right? the bus. Right. So okay. besides here, here, um, New Haven. I want to go on record. New Haven's best pizza in the world. No. Besides the I clam, the best pizza in the world. New Haven's the best pizza in the world. Besides the clam, 
besides besides the American cheese slice, besides for the paragraphs and storybooks that they put on the back of menus, and also besides for most of the pizza being inedible. I'll the tell crust. you this. They the have crust. they have the best two bites of pizza I've ever had. The crust. Ooh. I'm not this saying this is why Dave Portnoy likes it because he does the one bite test, and all all that New Haven has is one fucking good bite in it. Yeah, maybe so. This is why he's preaching one by tests. <laughs> yeah, he's. I also think he's not a good uh, judge of pizza. Who are you gonna trust? I don't more? think. I don't. I don't. People use his word as the gospel. I'm like, I don't really at all. Internet. I'm a fat boy who didn't eat Italian food in a restaurant till I was a teenager because my grandmother, my Italian grandmother, refused for me to eat anyone else's sauce or gravy. Okay. Okay. I'm from New York. I grew up on pizza. I'm fat as fuck. <laughs> Who are you going to trust, Internet? Me or some skinny-ass loser called Dave <laughs> Portnoy, okay? <laughs> I'm coming for you, bar stool. <laughs> you fucking Amazing. losers. It's me versus you, Mr. Dave Portnoy. <laughs> you do the one-bite test. I eat the whole fucking slice, okay? <laughs> Cause that's not how people eat pizza, Dave. I know we're not all billionaires that we take one bite of a pizza and throw it away. I don't, okay? I, I don't like his pizza ratings at all. I disagree with a lot of them. He's, he does eat the the whole full slice at the end of it. He's a fucking shit bag. You yeah, a hundred percent. Us working men, we have to eat the whole slice, Dave. I'll eat one slice, and then he bites the crust. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He bites the fucking New Haven crust. I, he must be part of this uh, elite circle that's trying to push, or that maybe he's on their payroll. Here's it's it's literally Frank Pepe, Dave Portnoy, Dick Cheney, <laughs> <laughs> and the graduated class of Yale. <laughs> and Yale Skull and Bones is running fucking pizza in in America. Yeah, and we are we sick to, of it. We need to unpack. We need to stop it. The people need to take back our fucking pizza. Amazing. Okay. Yes. We cannot have the fucking Illuminati telling us what pizza is good. I love this. I agree. I am disgusted with this direction of this country. Yeah. I am disgusted. Amazing. There was more history in this fucking pizzeria than Philadelphia. <laughs> I am furious. Yeah, there was a, it was strange. It was strange. Did you see the tattoos on the guy's arms that was taking an order? No. Only triangles. Only triangles. Only triangles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. I definitely noticed. <laughs> you know what? I asked for Diet Coke. He gave me a regular one. Okay. That's him trying to fucking hold me down. You think so? I mean, yes. <laughs> did he actually give you a regular one? 100%. Amazing. All I'm saying, I don't need to know what slice of pizza Henry Kissinger wants me to fucking eat, okay? <laughs> Kissinger, I know pizza better than you, bitch. <laughs> Let I know up. pizza better than you, bitch, okay? You run this country, I run the fucking kitchen. <laughs> Amazing. I don't need the Illuminati telling me where to eat. I like this. This is good. We. This is good. The Illuminati versus New York pizza. <laughs> <laughs> New York pizza is going gonna, it's gonna, to it's gonna come through. It's going to come through. It's going to come through because that's- We are millions strong. They didn't, you know what? This is, this is a good test of it. We we talked to working class people in Vermont. Yes, and you know what they they didn't say. Oh, it's like New Haven pizza. Boom! It wasn't like New York pizza. It wasn't like New Haven pizza. It was bad pizza. And yes. they weren't trying to when they try to compare it to the gold standard. They weren't saying New Haven. They were saying New York. I've never. So that's how you know that the world sometimes with the with the media yes. and the Illuminati are trying to give us. I think the, the general population knows what's right. Just don't. You can't. Some people they fall uh, victim. To the uh, what they read, you can't. If there's ever a sign that says New Haven style pizza, you can get in the fucking ring with me, okay? A pizza, a pizza, yeah. <laughs> New go Haven fuck style, yourself. a pizza, yeah. Offensive, yeah. We got Chris Pratt playing Mario and a pizza happening in the fucking New Haven. <laughs> yeah. I can't have nothing. Both my grandparents are dead. <laughs> I can't have nothing. A pizza and my grandparents are dead. Oh, I don't Jesus know. Jesus Christ, I can't fucking believe this. Okay. Well, anyways, we got a show this Friday, March eleventh. <laughs> New York, New York is phenomenal. Go into the plugs. New York is phenomenal. It's gonna be a lot of you want to come you know, hang out with us. The World us. Trade Center was that's where they made New York pizza, and I swear to God, fucking Bush knew they wanted to take down that pizza. 
<laughs> that was the secret to pizza. Now in One World Trade, they sell New Haven style. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, New York is phenomenal. Clearly, you think so. We think so. This is the show that we do every month. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just hot off of our nice little Vermont is phenomenal weekend. It'll be fun to come back and do the New York show. Please come out. We, we go out after we love seeing people. We love hanging out. Uh, yeah, we have a great lineup where Cypher is our guest. Cypher sounds. It's hard to go into plugs after being furious for a half, for, okay. for, most, for, for literally a half hour. I'm I mean, yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about Cypher? Cypher is amazing. <laughs> Cypher Sounds, Hot 97 DJ, literally put people on. I think he was the first person to ever play Rihanna on the radio. Amazing. He literally was part of the morning show there. I would listen to him as I drove to school in the morning. Uh, as I went to work in, in uh, Brooklyn, I remember I have a long drive. I listened to him in Rosenberg. It was fucking awesome. He was the um, DJ. DJ for the Chappelle Show. If you're a Chappelle Show fan, he does stand up at uh, the Comedy Cellar everywhere. He's he's so fucking nice and fun. And he's gonna be doing improv with us. He's for gonna be one doing set, which is gonna be fun. Yeah, we're gonna and interview him. He's gonna do improv. So come out. Yeah, it's gonna be a great night. So please, March 11th, come out to that 9:30 Asylum friends. NYC. Bring yeah, bring friends. We love to see the shows packed. Yeah, I mean, it makes the show better. Obviously, the more people in the crowd, the better the show is. And then afterwards, we will be hanging out. We hang out. Anyone who wants to hang out is always down to come hang out. And here's the thing: you're a little drunk. Pizza Suprema right next door. P there's pizza next door. There's Pizza Suprema. <laughs> Amazing. And you know what? I love you, New York. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, hit the fucking music. <laughs>